Here's a question for you. Why do we let Christmas become so stressful? Why do we get to that level of, oh my God, I'm so stressed with the shopping, the cooking, the decorating. I've got a minute for myself. I'm exhausted. I'm becoming overwhelmed. Here's what worked for me my entire life when I started to say it. Is my problem someone else's fantasy dream come true? Would someone say, hey, Marissa, I love that problem. Wrapping all the presents, getting them in the car, driving down the freeway, then getting them out of the car at the other end to give to people who love you. Somebody, someone will say, you know your problem? I'd love to have that problem. That's my fantasy. I've got to get up at 5 a.m. because the kids are awake and they want to open their stocking. I've got to tidy up the house. Everyone is coming. It really helps to say, is this problem someone else's fantasy? And here's another thing that helps. What would you have given 10 or 20 years ago for this problem? Your kids are running around the house, ripping up the paper. Suddenly everything that looks so beautiful is a complete mess of wrapping. Everyone's screaming and shouting. More people are arriving. What would you have given to have that problem years ago? And then also to think this too will pass. You know, this is part of Christmas, the mess, but we have to get it all into perspective. It's a day and it's a day of being with people who love you. So you need to really pull back on making it perfect. You don't need to have masses of food, masses of gifts. What you need to do is be in it. So when people are there and you're doing the gifts, stop running around tidying up and making more food. Be in the moment. The moment is all we have. The past is gone. Be in the moment. You know, when it was my daughter's first birthday, I spent so long getting it ready and running around. I forgot to take a single picture. I just set the whole thing up the next day because I forgot to take any photos. I remember being at somebody's wedding, a dear friend, and she was crying because this is overwhelming to me. So much to do. I'm like, this is your wedding day. You're a human being, not a human doing. So this Christmas, try to be, not do. Keep remembering I'm being, not doing, being, not doing. Be like a cat. They just chill all the time and then think these questions. Is this someone's fantasy dream come true? Would I have loved to have had this problem 20 years ago? And breathe. Have an aptitude for gratitude. Be grateful. I'm lucky all these people want to come to my house. I'm lucky I have money to buy these gifts. I'm lucky. Be in the moment. Take a deep breath and chill. Remember, this too will pass. In a few days, Christmas is all over. You'll be putting everything away and thinking, I could have enjoyed that more. And then ask yourself just two questions. Is this someone's fantasy dream come true? What I've given for this problem 10 or 20 years ago. These five things can change your entire life, not just at Christmas, but all the time. I use these things all the time. And it's why I love my life. I'm so happy with my life. I'm living my best life now. Send me a message and tell me how it's helping you. Have a wonderful holiday. See you next time. Lots of love. Check out my next video here.